In this video, I will walk you through how to use the Entity Framework from within a uh, library project in Visual Studio. To begin, we will create a new project. In this type, we will create a Windows Forms application. And I will name this uh, EF within TLL. So the first thing we will do, this is a standard Windows application. The first thing we will do is we will add a class library. So a new project, F type class library. And I'm just going to accept the default name here. And, uh, well, we don't need this uh, demo class that I created. So uh, I have a, a database called uh, Northwind which you can download uh, at the link that I've specified in the tutorial. I will add a new item to the library um, of type data and it's an ADO.NET entity data model and I'm going to call this uh, Northwind generate from database is fine So here, I'm going to uh, create a new connection of type SQL is fine, uh, and I will use local host and uh, SA password. And I will select the Northwind database. Test connection, yep, it works. So uh, what I want uh, now to do, it, it will create the entities uh, object and it will also create an app.config uh, file. So I will select yes, include the sensitive data in the connection string and save entity connection settings in app config as this. So next. Uh, next, I want to choose all the tables in this case. Uh, we could uh, also include all the uh, views and uh, stored procedures. And uh, stored procedures also, in, in this case. Uh, we can include all of them, even though I'm not going to use all of them. Okay, so the next uh, step is to click Finish, and it will go through and it will generate the uh, uh, tables, views, and stored procedures. Um, it will generate classes for each of them. So here is, uh, uh, once everything is said and done, here is uh, what you'll see. Uh, you'll see a diagram of all the tables uh, that are in this database. And uh, if you uh, look at the uh, class library, there's a Northwind uh, project uh, EDMX uh, if you might and if you expand the northwind.tt you will see all the uh, classes for the various uh, objects the one I'm interested in is the employees uh, object so what I'm going to do now is uh, take a look at the app config file Notice here it has a connection string for Northwind database. Now there's one piece of information that we have to change and that's this. Inside of this string you'll see a, a ampersand quote. You have to replace that with a single quote. And uh, the same for the ending. You have to change that to a single quote as well. And that's it. So now that we have uh, this um, entry framework access, we will uh, go to our regular Windows application here. And uh, let's just drop a combo box in here. And uh, we will reference the uh, class library that we have. And there's a couple of different things that I'm going to have to uh, reference here. One of them is the entity framework. So I will 
have to uh, first get the path to this class library here. Actually, let's expand the references folder and uh, find a path to the uh, entity framework uh, DLL. And I'm going to have to reference this DLL in my Windows project. So it's going to say OK. All right. And so here now I have uh, the entity framework. The other thing that I need is uh, system data, uh, data entity. So uh, let's uh, look at the assemblies here, system, data, entity. I'm also going to reference uh, system data entity and system entity de design. The entity framework uses that. Um, the other thing I'm going to have to do is right click and add a new item. Uh, and this is a, a configuration file. And I'll click Add. And uh, we're going to have to um, copy everything that we have in this file, the uh, uh, app config that came with our class library, and I copy it here. Okay, and now we're ready to uh, access our uh, library. So uh, here on the uh, form, I'm first going to create a variable. Uh, for, well, first let's uh, add a using statement to our uh, class library. And then here, I should have a north wind entities uh, object. I will call this LO Northwind. And here, let's first initialize this object to a new Northwind entities object. And I will list uh, the employee. I'll create a list uh, of employees, uh, we'll call it employees equals to LO Northwind dot employees dot to list. And what this does is it grabs a list of all employees in the database from the employees table. And uh, my combo box, uh, I'll set the data source of it to LA employees. And also, let's uh, set the display member to first name. So that's all the code I need. Let's uh, compile it first to see if everything compiles correctly. And it does. So uh, we will now run uh, this Windows application to see if we get any results. All right, it looks like uh, we got all the names from the database. So our uh, ent entity framework is now working within the class library, and we're good to go. Now, one uh, point of caution here is when you set the uh, uh, run type to debug, it actually references the app config file that's residing within the uh, class library right here, which may or may not be the same as the app config uh, connection string that you've put inside of your Windows application. But as soon as I flip the switch to release, it now fetches it from the place where it references the class library, so which would be here. So when I run it now, this time around, 
is getting the uh, connection string and the information from my Windows application um, form. So be careful when you uh, uh, reference uh, the library. You have to have this information in both places in order for this to work. That's all I have. Uh, please subscribe and uh, leave any comments or questions you may have. And thank you for watching.